Alright guys, time for another uh, Reviews, Reviews from the Shadows mini review. Um, this one I actually watched and wrote a long time ago. Just didn't get a chance to put it up, so good time to do it now. Uh, this is for Blood, Bloody Disgusting Presents VHS. So, being a fan of BloodyDisgusting.com, I figured I would check out their flick VHS. I am really sick and tired of found footage films, I think like most of us are. But, uh, give it a shot. What the hell? So, I'll let you... So I have to let you know, before we get going here, the first 15 minutes of this movie are shit. It's crap, it sucks, it's just stupid. I don't think they knew what they were doing at the beginning, but... Acted bad, looked bad, it's just brutal. So, fast forward for the first 15 minutes when these guys are running around with their video cameras, trying to rip chick shirts off and videotape girls' boobs. It's just lame and stupid, and there's really no point. <clears throat> but once they break into the house, I'm actually surprised that this movie was pretty good. It takes found footage a little different way, and so it's shot in found footage wise, but uh, at the same time it's people finding tapes and watching them, and they don't know if they're snuff films, they don't know if they're fake, what they are, but it, it's a good concept, so <clears throat> once they get in the house, they come across, well, a lack of a better word, snuff films, and uh, they take turns watching them and uh, while the others rob the house. There's some predictable shit in it, like there's a dead dude in quotations. You can't see him doing quotations, but there's a dead dude in a chair and the guy's like, oh, I'm sitting here with this guy and then watch the movie and people start vanishing that watch the movies and shit. And then while they're watching the movies, you can see <clears throat> when you cut back to the guy, oh, the dead guy's gone. Oh, the dead guy's back. Oh, the dead guy's moved. <clears throat> Until eventually he just, spoiler, gets the guy. But, uh, it's not, not really that bad, though. The tapes they find, they could be considered little mini horror movies. Like, some of them are really well done. Um, let's see which ones I thought here. The vampire one was really good. Where the guys go out with, uh, <clears throat> these really bad spy glasses on. that videotape their night and they want to make a sex tape. It's pretty lame, but the idea, but the, the movie part is really good. I actually liked it. The road trip, uh... Murders one was good. I don't want to spoil what happens in that one, but it, it's good. You might think it's boring at times, but it, it turns out to have a pretty good ending. Um, campground murders were pretty good. Uh, the webcam black-eyed kids kind of thing was good. Um, the alien one was pretty good. Uh, demons underground, things like that. It, it It's pretty good, and when you watch it, each film is different, so you're actually getting a bunch of different horror films at once. So, I really like that. So, yeah, if you guys want to check this out, I think you'll like it. Avoid the first 15 minutes. It sucks. And it's on Netflix, so it's free. So you can watch one and two. We'll review two another time. But, uh, like, you have to turn your brain off a little bit because some of this stuff, like, in the day that it's supposed to be on VHS, I, I don't know how without computers and shit they transfer it to VHS. But if you turn your brain off and don't think about that stuff, it's just a bunch of individual little horror movies. It's kind of like Creep Show. I think you will like it, so I'm going to give it three zombie beavers out of five. Later.